morning. Good morning, Super Readers. Thanks for joining us in our Valley PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Nix. Hi, good morning. I'm Mrs. Sang. Oh, are, are we are missing, missing someone? someone? I'm Mrs. Hammock. Oh, I'm Mrs. Hammock. Hammock. We're so hey. excited to have you back. I'm so excited to be back. Good morning, Super Readers. We've missed her so mm -hmm. much. I missed I you. I missed you too. Yes. All right. So. This is our place where we come to learn, practice, and grow our brains to become even stronger readers, writers, and thinkers. So let's get started by warming up our brains with some ear, ear training, training called Daily, Daily Phonemic Awareness. All right, so this morning, here's what we're going to do. Going to help me out? Yes. Yep. We're going to do a thing called phoneme categorization. And really, we're listening. We're training our ears to listen to some words and see if we can identify the word that's different. Let me do an example. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Ready. So here we go. I've got three words. Bread, break, drum. Hmm. Bread, break are the same, the one that's different is drum. Because drum. Drum. Mm -hmm. drum has that d sound, dr. Okay, but bread and break have the br sound. Okay, let's try another one. You ready? Okay. Okay, We're here ready. we go. Three words. Crack, crumb, and proud. Mm, I heard it. I Did heard you hear it? it? Too. Mm -hmm. Which one doesn't belong, Mrs. Bang? Proud. <gasps> Proud does not belong because it doesn't have the cr sound. Awesome job. All right, last one. I'm going to okay. do this one for Mrs. Hammock. We're going to see if her ears are listening today. Okay. How about grow, frog, and fruit? Mm. Grow, frog, and fruit. Ooh, I heard it. It's grow. Grow doesn't match. It doesn't match because it doesn't have the fr sound. Awesome job. Okay, so you know what else we've been doing, Mrs. Hammock? I, Are you ready? I hope I'm ready. <laughs> We're going to do a song. Mrs. Bang and I found an <laughs> awesome song for you. Do you want to join us? Awesome. Let's go through. This one's called See the Sun Rise. You ready to join us? Make yeah, sure you've yep, got some stand nice. up. A good one. Get your arms ready. We're going to be using those arms today. And I'm going to stop us because, oh, there we go. All right, there we go. It's going. Okay. So, you got space? I think so. Okay, we're looking for the sun. Hey, this is kind of fun, right? tricked me up a little bit. That's okay. We just keep going, right? It is going to be a great day. Oh, I like how it looks like the sun when you do that. Some exercise today, getting those brains going. ready to learn? I think they are. I think Great so. Job. And I'm so excited because we're going to do a little bit of review with some of our sound spelling cards. Not very many. And then I want to review 
some of the L blends that you practiced and learned with Mrs. O'Leary. So let's take a look. I'm going to stick these here for a minute. We have just a few. I want to review the O octopus ah. Remember, that's a vowel. And then I have J jump J. A apple ah. C, now this is a tricky one. C k, camel k. And remember, we can spell that three different ways. And then L lemon l. Good job. And one last one N nest n. Mm. Terrific. Now, with Mrs. O'Leary, you practiced some L blends. And that is a consonant blend when we put two consonants right together and we say their sounds super fast. Like bl, block, and flag, whoop, and glass. Do you remember how those two sounds touch each other? We're going to do the same thing today using the R blends. So I think I need some of my friends to come in and help me, though. Hey, guys, it's time for you to come in and practice some phonics. Oh, Mrs. Hammock, Hi. I'm so excited to see you. Oh, Tina, I'm excited to see you, too. And Ricky, good morning. Hi, Mrs. Hammock. Oh, Ricky. We missed you. I missed you guys, too. I'm so happy to see you again. Today, we're going to learn about R blends. Are you ready to help me? Okay. Oh, yes. We're so ready. I want to introduce you to them. This is B R, and it says br, like in brown. And this is C R. It says cr, as in crab. D R says dr, as in drum. F R says fr, as in frog. G R says gr, as in green. T R says tr as in tree, and PR says pr, as in pretzel. Wow. I like pretzel. I know <laughs> you do, and I bet you dip them in cheese. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's my favorite snack. Oh, I love it. So I would like you, Tina, and you, Ricky, to help me. I'm going to blend some words with those consonant blends, and I want you to help us put those sounds together and tell me what my word is, okay? Okay, that All right, sounds great. Got it. All right, here we go. F R says fr og. Oh, oh, I can do it. What do you think, Tina? Frog. That, Frog. That is right. Great job. All right, let's try another one. Okay, turn up your listening ears. T R says tr ap. What do you think that one is? Listen again. Tr ap. Trap. Great Trap. job, Ricky. Good I'm listening. Getting it. You are getting it. Ap. Trap. Great job. All right, one last one. DR. Now sometimes boys and girls get this mixed up, so you really listen. Dr ip. Dr ip. What do you think? Well, I think I say drip. Drip. Oh. Tina, you made the same error that a lot of boys and girls, because that D is right next to the R, sometimes it sounds like a j. But it's oh. not a drip. It's not drip. It's d drip. Drip. Oh. It's that d, d sound. Like <laughs> like this, Tina. Drip. Okay. Drip. Okay. I think I can try it. All right, let's Here's try it. it. Here we go. D drip. Drip. Great job! Oh, I'm going to give it. you a round of applause because that was beautiful. Oh, and I think you should you. kiss your brain. Oh, yes. 
Great job. Thank you so much for helping us today with our R blends. Now tomorrow, we're going to also learn about the S blends. So I want you to be sure that you come back with me tomorrow and help me, okay, Ricky? Super excited, Mrs. Hammock. You did great. And now it's time for us to practice some high frequency words with Mrs. Nix. Thank you, Mrs. Hammock, so much for going over all of those words so we can start to sound them out. And you know what? One other thing that we usually are having to do with reading is not only do we sound out our words, but sometimes it's important for us to kind of have some words that we just have memorized. And so we like to call those our high frequency words. They're words that we see often in our reading and our writing. And so it's important that we just know them and practice them. So I've got a couple of different ways that we're gonna practice them this week. Let me show you some of our words that we're gonna do this week, and then we'll talk about one of our activities that we're gonna use it with. Okay, so our words this week are to, jump, run, and move. Today, I want us to focus on this one right here. Do you remember what it is? That's right, jump. Say it with me, jump. Let's spell it together. J-U-M-P says jump. Great job. So there's a couple of things we like to do. Remember I said we like to be able to read it. We also like to be able to use it in a sentence. So how about this one right here? I like to jump. See how it fits just perfectly? I like to jump. Great job. Okay, another thing that's super helpful because I'm always trying to think to myself, how can I practice the word jump? Writing it over and over again is gonna help me do it, but I always like to use a little bit of color and make it a little more fun. So right here, we've got our rainbow words, and this is something you can do easily at home or in your classroom if you've finished all of your work. You could make a rainbow using all of your words that you are practicing. So you can see right here, now remember, I didn't use yellow because it doesn't really show on screen, but you could use yellow when you're at home. But I've got red, orange, missing yellow, green, blue, what comes next? Purple, you got it. So I can go through and I'm practicing our word. What's our word today? Jump, good job. Help me spell it. Let's do it together. J U M P. Excellent. So see how easy it was to do that? Great job. And we could go through and we could make lots of rainbows using all of our words. It's a fun way to practice. You know what else we like to do when we're practicing our reading is we like to give some strategy, strategies to our stories. This week we're talking about asking and answering questions. And it's something that as we become really good readers, our brains just automatically do it. And so we're gonna talk about it just a little bit so that you can become an amazing reader too. Like when you're looking at the cover of a book, do you ever think to yourself, hmm, I wonder, and maybe you have a thought or a question about your story that you're about to read? Well, this story today is called Move. And I wonder, hmm, what are those animals, how are they moving? I wonder if the story is gonna tell us. You know what, you can find out just as you listen. Today's story is Move by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Today, as we read Move, ask yourself questions about what the animals do and why they did it. Then, Look for answers in the words and illustrations. Animals move in different ways. Swing! A gibbon swings through jungle trees. Or walks on two back legs. Walk. A jacana walks on floating lily pads. Then dives in to catch a fish. Dive. A blue whale dives deep, deep, deep. And swims below the ocean waves. Swim. 
An armadillo swims across a stream. And when startled, leaps straight up. Leap! A crocodile leaps to snag its meal after slithering silently into the water. A snake slithers through rustling leaves. Slither. And climbs up into a tree. Climb. A praying mantis climbs a blade of grass. Then spreads its wings and flies. Fly. A roadrunner flies, but not too far. It would rather run to catch its prey. Run. An arctic hare runs across the ground, then dances tumbling with its mate. A jumping spider dances to impress. Dance. Then floats away on a thread of silk. Float. A polar bear floats in dark, icy water and slides down a snow-covered hill. A penguin slides, splash, into the sea, slide, and waddles with its colony, waddle. Waddle, slide, float, dance, run, fly, climb, slither, leap, swim, dive, walk, swing, Animals move in different ways. How about you? Move. Did you enjoy that story called Move, Ricky? I loved it because it had tons of animals in it. I saw all my friends. Are they really all your friends? All animals are my friends. Okay, Ricky. Now remember, what Mrs. Nix was talking about as we were reading, did you have some questions that you had that you wanted to answer? I did. I was wondering what kind of movements they were going to be moving because I knew that the story was called Move and I saw a rabbit. Was that what you were thinking? No. I wanted to see if I could find my friends. Okay, Ricky. Hey, Ricky, do you want to help me with this response to reading? Because did you know that if you can answer some of these comprehension questions, that tells me you are really listening to the story. Did you know that? But, but my name is Retail. I want to retell the story. But remember, Ricky, this is a diff it's not a great story to retell because there's just lots of facts. And animals, uh, there was lots of animals. Y yes, there was. But hey, how about you help me retell by answer some of these questions. How about that? Okay. Okay, boys and girls, let's see if you guys can answer some of these questions. So, number one says, how do some of the animals in the book move? Okay, did you guys remember? Do you guys see this guy? There's my monkey, how was he moving? What did he do? Do you remember, Ricky? He was walking. Oh, you're right. So, walk is one of the way the animal moved. Walk, good job. Okay, how about this guy? This is a snake, he's my friend too. Okay, how was he moving? I see some of you guys and you're doing this, I see your movement. Awesome job, he was, what's that word? He was, he climbed, you're right. He was climbing and there was another word, wasn't there? He could slither. That was another word, he could climb and slither. Did you guys catch that, that each animal had two movements? You did, awesome job. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, here's a, what was this? What was this, do you remember? Mm, uh, I remember he was flying. He was flying. Right? Good job. Now, let's keep going. Okay, we got a lot more to do. And this is a, he was, what was he doing? Oh, that's a, what was that? Was that an alligator? Was that a, I think it was, a, not, oh, but he was slithering. That's what he was doing, because that's what he can do. You're right, he was doing, though, remember? Each animal had two movements, right? 
Good job. Okay, what's another movement? Here's my rabbit. He was running. Good job. I heard some of you guys say that. And then, what was my penguin doing? Do you remember? Mm, there's two movements. You're right. So if you had the other one, this one said he was slide. He can slide, but he can also, that's right, he can also dive, right? So each animal had two movements. I hope you guys were able to catch that. Now, so if you said the other word for the other animal, it's okay, you were right, because those are all the different kind of movements they can make. And I see some of you guys doing some of these movements. And guess what, boys and girls? Do you know what we call that? We call that a verb. It's an actual word. You guys know that? Oh, you guys did. Awesome. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if you guys were listening to this. You want to help me, Ricky? Okay. Which animal from the book can swim? There was two of them that can swim. Do you remember? Mm, it was the whale. Yes. And the what? Armadillo. You're right. The whale and the armadillo can both swim. Awesome job. Now, here's another question. Let's see if you were... And this is a tricky one. It says, where in the book would you look to learn more about some of the animals? Now, if you were um, in first grade, your teacher has this book. Did you know that this was at the end of the book? It's what we, we can sometimes call it an index. It's one of our text features, but it has lots of information about all the different animals that was in the book, did you know that? So if you wanted to learn more about these animals, you'll go to the back of the book and you'll learn about all the different animals. That's so cool! You can learn about all my friends! You can. Speaking of your friends, hey, do you want your friends to come help us with our writing? Yeah! Friends! Friends! Tina! Scooter! Oh, I see Tina. You got Tina to be Scooter. Okay, friends. Okay, so if you guys were listening to our story, it was all about how animals are moving. So I want you guys to think. Here's my writing prompt today. What are some ways you can move? So I want you guys to think about it at home. What are some ways that you guys can move? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, oh! I know. I know. I have an idea. You know what I like to do when I get really hot? Oh, what do you like to do? Tina? I like to swim in a pool. How fun. Tina likes to swim in a pool. I love that. Tina wrote it. And so I already started the sentence, and it says, I can. And Tina says she can swim in a pool. Oh, I love that. I can swim in a pool. She wrote the whole sentence for me. Awesome job, Tina. I'm gonna put that right there. Kitcha. Oh, Scooter has one too. I see Scooter. Oh, he wants to tell me what he likes to do. Guess what Scooter likes to do? He says, I can climb a tree. Do you like climbing on a tree? Oh, I love that. So boys and girls, what can you guys do? Think about those verbs. Can you run? Can you jump? Can you swim? Can you climb? Lots of things, awesome. I can run really fast. Oh, I bet you can. So was that what you were have written? I can run really fast? Uh, mm, I know, oh, there we go. Look, here's your sentence. I can run really fast. Awesome job. Okay, boys and girls, are you guys ready for another great story? I have another friend of mine here who wants to share one of her favorite stories with you guys. And let's see if you guys have read this story. And if you have, let me know what you think about it. Ready? Here he goes. Hello everyone, my name is Tamika Tatum. I'm a first grade teacher at Thomas and I wanted to share one of my favorite books with you and it's called The World Needs Who You Were Made To Be by Joanna Gaines, illustrated by Juliana Sweeney. And I love this book because it highlights all the differences that we have. And at the end, you will see what all those differences create. Check it out. Please watch Valley PBS. Thank you, Mrs. Tatum at Thomas. Those are all my friends at Thomas. And I love that book that you get, that you share because guess what? I haven't read it. Have you guys read that book? I haven't. I'm so looking forward mm -hmm. to checking so it that out. Must wait. Wait. We need to go to the library or we need to go on Sora so that we can knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Alec. Alec, Alec who? who? Alec. 
it when you ask me questions. Oh, oh Ricky. Ricky. You're so funny. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.